Yo, 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 what is up? How you guys doing this week? It's been two weeks since last time I saw you. My name is Mike Serta, and this is the House of Local Talent. We're specializing in showcasing the work of local house and uh, electronic music producers. Today we have a bunch of local artists, and we have a special guest, a friend I've known all my life, well, at least for the last 20 years. His name is Pata Funk, and he'll be doing a little live act, showing his music, etc. And we're going to meet him and know a little bit about him. So, first, uh, starting with uh, our first song today, like we usually do, I'm showcasing the work of local artists, and in this case, it's called Miguel and Toms, featuring Servando Primera. And this song is called Casualidad. So this is the House of Local Talent. What you're listening to is Casualidad by Miguel Entons, featuring Servando Primera. I've known Servando Primera for a long time from Venezuela also. But I discovered this track today and I wanted to share with you. I love the horns on this track. It's a very commercial track, but still, I find it's an amazing song. 
Now we're going to listen to a song called Water by Kid Boogie. Bring it down. Remember, this is a house of local talent showcasing Miami's uh, electronic music producers, especially, especially in house. We had hip hop last, um, last session. And this is Water by Kid Boogie. created on Spotify and it's on the Discord channel. Discord, sorry. So all the tracks I've played all along, all the shows, you can find on the playlist. This is the House of Local Talent. My name is Mike Serta. This track is called Water by Kid Boogie. And remember, you, we were watching the House of Local Talent. Next up, we got a remix by Mary Jane called Again, originally by Mary Madeleine. And this is Again.
So you're watching the House of Local Talent. My name is Mike Serta. We're showcasing Miami's uh, uh, electronic music, house music producers. Right now, what you're listening to is called Again. It's uh, by Mary Madeline. It's a remix by Mary Jane. Um, if you guys want to showcase your work on the program, just hit me up on my Instagram at DJMKC, and I'll gladly and happily play your songs. So next, next up, we've got Noche Dia by Calusa and Fuego. These guys probably don't need a presentation. These are very popular. This is called Noche Dia, and this is the house of local talent. So this track is called Noche Dia by Calusa and Fuego. This journey has been very interesting, like discovering local producers, local DJs, local musicians. Like with the idea of showing it to you guys every other Thursday. Now, next up, we've got this guy. I haven't met him personally, but I've spoken to him a couple of times. Uh, he's a Venezuelan from Maracay. Uh, he's been releasing music, but this is like his first project. And now he's doing, he had the album release uh, last week. And he's doing like an interesting live looping kind of thing. Uh, his name is Niel Klopen, N-I-E-L space K-L-O-P-E-N. And I find this very interesting. And this song is called Picante. Úsame como quieras, cuando quieras, como sea Que yo tengo la clave, porque tuve siempre vuelvo Quiero un labio nuevo, que me den lo que quiero A nadie yo le debo, por eso nada le temo Buscando una salida, pa' yo ser tu rutina Con eso te veo si te lo quita, quítame las ganas que tengo. Tócame cada espacio en mi cuerpo. Hazme tuya frente al espejo. Guárdame, rozame, úsame como quieras. Cuando quieras, como sea. Que yo tenga la clave. Porque Soy ese sabor picante que tiene la boca te arde Y te da calor 
So this is Neil Klopen, and it's called Picante, featuring Anika. This is the house of local talent. And what I've been doing every show is presenting one of my own remixes. And this is a remix of a song I did like back in 2012 uh, in my former album, Caribbean Swaga. And this is called Friday. It's I forgot to mention this song is with Chris Tuiri. Yeah, man. As you can tell, the song originally was reggae, and now it's more dancey kind of vibe. This is unreleased, unmixed, unedited, on anything. I just brought it because I had to bring a, a remix. Back in the day in Venezuela, it was very interesting to make music because we had influences like from reggae, from rap, from salsa, from merengue, from like Afro, 
Venezuelan drums. So it was very cool, all these mixtures that came up and all these bands and propos proposals they had. And uh, everybody made music with everybody. I was just talking about that with our next guest. Um, that I made a song with him, he made a song with him, I made a song with another friend of ours, he made a song with, but we haven't done a, a song together. So basically, I want to welcome a friend I've known for around 20 years. A guy I've known since he had a band. Uh, DJ here in the Miami Beach scene, house producer. How you doing, Patafunk? Welcome. Good, man. Thanks for having me. This is awesome. It's very cool. Uh, long time. First time we performed together was like maybe 20 years ago in Maracaibo, Venezuela. Opening for these people, La Caución. It was a French band. And you were with Puerto Poder. I was with Camasuit Selection. Yeah, that was uh, Fed de la Musique, right? Yeah. Fed de la Musique. I remember it was like a parking lot. And we were like babysitting these guys from La Caución. Uh, they were like an amazing. I don't know if they're still doing shit together. But um, you should check them out. La Caución. Uh, and we have a song called Vergación, as a matter of fact, with Cuarto Poder, my former rap band. And uh, yeah, you guys, what was the name of the band? Scamma Suite Selection. It was uh, sort of like reggae, trip hop, drum and bass with this girl uh, singing, who is in one of my latest tracks, by the way. That was a full circle thing, Cloud. Okay, so tell me something. Tell me something about your project, okay? I, I know as Pata Funk, you're a house producer and you have the Patafunk Sessions, and you're about to get your number, your episode number 100. What's that all about? Oh uh, yeah, well, you know, I kept the name Patafunk for everything I did. Uh, I, in the 90s, late 90s, I had this like ska reggae band where I used to sing and play bass. Uh, we were like nine, nine musicians, it was crazy, it was awesome. Then the 2000s hit and uh, we all fell in love with electronic music. Uh, in my city, uh, no, I'm from, I'm from Caracas, but in the city I was living to for like 11 years, Maracaibo. Uh, and probably in the rest of Venezuela, uh, besides Boogie Nights. Uh, I think it was all drum and bass or techno. In Maracaibo it was like that for sure. And then you had like folkloric music, like Vallenato, and then techno or drum and bass. There was no house, there was not that thing in the middle. So we started making these parties in art, art places, museums, uh, theaters. It was beautiful with, with fashion and art. And, and it was pretty cool, you know, like they, they invited me then to, to do this radio show in La Mega. Um, we had something going on very well. Uh, but I, I, I kept the live music. Uh, it was not scama anymore, no more ska. Uh, it became more a little deeper because the electronic music. Then okay, let's go. Uh, in terms of live music, we were listening to all these like German guys that were doing like this down tempo with you know like Kruder, Dorfmeister, people like that. And so we were playing that. I was playing bass. We, we had a guitar player. So, so it was a, a whole band, and I was always as a DJ and as, as a band. Uh, this band breaks up in 2007, and I produced my first album as a solo artist, Patafon, it's called Dubdelic, Patafon Dubdelic. I wasn't singing, I was producing. So that's fine, you know, I'm a DJ, I'm a producer, I have this first album. The second, third, and fourth album, for some reason, I cannot explain why yet, uh, it's me singing and it's reggae and Latin, Latin funk. I mean, it's cool, but I was living in New York for like 10 years and you could see me like really playing, playing as a DJ everywhere. So, oh, can I, can I check your Spotify? And then it was so confusing, like, man, this guy's singing here. But it was cool, you know, I was all over the place. And two years ago, I said, you know what? I'm not a singer anymore. I love the songs that I did. I might convert, I, I actually I did uh, one already, um, convert them in house music, but I'm a house music DJ. I'm a house music producer, you know? I can do other things, but I'd be, you know, it's time to, some, some people start with one genre and then they go multi-genres. I, I start 
all over the place and now I'm, I'm trying to focus in, in, in one thing. I've been always a house music DJ, but this is when I'm actually embracing the whole thing as a, you know, DJ producer of house music. Something happened to me similarly, sorry for inter interrupting, but I started with hip hop. So basically, I started with a rap band in Venezuela, which is like a very commercial. Thank you. But it was like one, it was like a, a commercial Venezuelan hip hop band, and then I moved to Colombia, and then I started doing like cumbia with these weird mixtures, like drum and bass and that kind of stuff. But now I find myself producing house because I love house music. I've, I've loved like since the Boogie Night movement. They're like my. I, don't, I wouldn't say my older brother, because we're at the same age, but they were like, my brother is Imagine Living and your brother is a, ho a house music and you're listening all your life to that music and love it. And uh, nowadays, I, I'm so deeply in love with house, I'm producing it, but I still love drum and bass and hip hop and I still spin hip hop, but I also spin house and produce it. So I, I, I know the feeling of being all over the place and trying to focus on one thing and then trying to sell your product or get gigs. And, and, but wait, what's this reggae thing? Or what's this hip hop? Aren't you doing drum and bass? You know, it's, a, it's weird. For sure. No, I understand. So um, that happened to me. So I was like, well, one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna catch up with the times. I did a few uh, remixes, house music remixes, but in general, my albums were not house music. So, okay, I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna be an electronic musician, producer. So I started this series called Patavision. Uh, it was a daily thing, then a weekly thing. Uh, now we are doing 98, the piece number 98. Uh, it's taking a little more time. Now it's like a monthly thing uh, because it's now with guests, singers, sometimes like guitar player or trumpet player. Um, so now we're hitting the 100 and I'm finally getting to that point. Uh, at first, I, I envision, it's called Patavision. It's, it's like the vision of if I keep doing this music, I'm gonna get better, uh, you know. The songs are gonna, just gonna come, they're gonna sound better than before. What do they say, the 10,000 hours, the 1,000 Something like that, yeah, yeah, hours. yeah, 10,000, yeah. And that's the vision, but also Patavision, sounds like TV or something that you can, you know, and we're in a visual, I mean, this is a radio show and we have a camera, you know, so we're in a visual time right now. Uh, so I'm, I'm, go, I'm partnering I'm, uh, with the, a friend of mine who's incredible at, at, at uh, beat video. Okay. Uh, I'm good at audio, but I'm horrible at video. And I, I can totally press record and go play guitar. I can do that, no problem, singing, everything. But putting the camera and running, <laughs> going and then, oh shit, it was off, and then, in, you know, the, it's, it's an art. And it's, I think it's a generational thing, or, yeah. Like, well, I mean, like, <laughs> I, I think we all should have at this point some, some you know, uh, skills, because it's important. Like, if you're a, you know, a chef, if you're a, you know, wh whoever you are, I think, if you wanna, right, right now, it's, it's, it's the, the business car is something like a visual thing, you know? You have to do it anyway. I agree. Um, unless you're a happy person living in the mountain and you know, but no, not any, not yet. Like too living in Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, so it's good to be with someone who really understands the video. Uh, so now Patavision, we are gonna make a song, and song. it's not just gonna be the song, but also the the, the making the song. Okay. You know. Amazing. Um, to teach people about, about what to, I mean, to teach what, what we're doing, you know, like uh, to, to give some tips, to learn, to, you know, like we're going to be making music, we're, we're going to discover things, and that's just awesome to, you know, to. to. Nice. Uh, your pen drive. Show us. Okay, so you're in chapter 98 of Patavision. Yes. Uh, show us a little, you're going to jam now for us, right? And show us a couple of songs and. Yeah. And without further ado, guys, uh, this is the House of Local Talent showcasing local Miami electronic music producers. We've been all over the place. We had hip hop last session. Uh, this session, we've had very commercial Latin tracks, and now we have a special guest, um, Pata Funk. So let's have fun.
In the meantime, uh, you can f get all the music we're playing today at a Spotify playlist I've made. Uh, it's on the Discord channel of the Miami Community Radio. Thank you very much uh, for this space. This residency has been amazing. Uh, for me personally, it's been a discovery into the, Mi into the Miami producer scene. Uh, I didn't know much about it. Um, of course, you know, there's a lot of electronic music, a lot of uh, electronic artists, but mainly you're listening to like the mainstream, like, oh, I don't know who's coming and playing at Space this weekend or blah, blah, blah. You don't, you don't hear much unless you start investigating about the local producers, the guys that sweat every night to make beats and, 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 and try to go ahead. Like, come ahead. Are you ready? Yeah. So let's do this. Pata Funk.
of local talent we're showcasing every other week every thursday from six to seven on miami community radio we're showcasing local electronic music artists so thanks for hanging out with us my name is mike serta at dj mkc and you can find his music on spotify and all like at pata funk you can find all the pata vision 98 98 is coming so there's 97 episodes thank you very much